Alright. Check the clock, he said. Where's the fuck is the clock? Bunch of keep out signs. What the fuck is this for? Huh. Eh, that's weird. Anyways. Uh. What clock are you talking about? Oh, he said in the lounge. My bad. I keep running in here thinking it's the fucking lounge. This is the lounge. Let's see. The time is... 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as a morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. If... Oh, fuck. <coughs> Man. I need, like, a drink of water or some shit. It might be better if I spend time like like I normally do for as long as I can. I just find someone to talk to. It might be a good idea, huh? Well... Oh, so I guess we will have free time then. Oh, that's cool. Uh... I'm all... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wrong button. Anyways, I'm surprised that they're giving us free time. Let's see. Oh, they changed, uh, Nekamaru's thing. What the fuck, man? <sighs> Why do scars fall down from the sky every time you walk by? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Whoa, close to you. <laughs> God damn it! Why is Mekon dead? Anyways, we have Komae to hang out with Gundam, which I'm I'm not fucking hanging out with Gundam. Kazuichi, which you don't trust me anymore, homeboy. So fuck you. And Mekamaru over here, fucking. I just don't want to hang out with Nekamaru. I don't know. The whole robot thing throws me off. Anyways, Fuhiko's cool. We also have uh, Kane, Chiki, Sonya. And that's it, right? Because everybody else is fucking dead. God damn it. God damn it. Wait, that means it's only... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 10 of us left. Not 10, my bad. I think I miscount that. I think it's just 9 of us left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, 9 of us left. Damn, and then the next one, 2 people are going to die. It's just like, who are those two people? Huh. Damn. Damn, when you think about it like that, that's pretty fucked up. Anyways, uh, how about we go hang out with Akane? I don't think I've... Have I ever hung out with Akane? Hold up. Uh, no, I did not hang out with Akane ever, and neither did I ever hang out with Sonya. Uh, never hung out with Gundam, which I will not, and never hung out with, uh, Komaeda, which, well, fuck you, man. Uh, yeah, let's go hang out with Akane, why not? Knock, knock. You still asleep? Yo. Oh, it's you. It's morning already? What should I do? Should I invite Akane and hang out? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> sure, you did wake me up, so I got no reason to say no. I spent time today hanging out with Akane. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Would you like to give her food? <laughs> Do I even have food on me? Non-alcoholic wine? Uh... Ah. Uh, potato chips? I don't remember what the fuck I have here. <gasps> Let's see... Mr. Stapler. Uh, what would Akane like? I don't even. Hagakure's crystal ball. <laughs> oh, fucking Hagakure. Uh, nurse's apron. Proof that's cleared third chapter. Fuck, wait, what? It's soaked with what? It's soaked with the smell of medicine. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> um, I guess I'll, I don't know, I'll give you something. I don't fucking know. What do you want? 
guess you can have, uh... Here. Take this. Oh, you're giving this to me? You know me so well, thanks. Hey, you. What? What's your name again? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. Alright, it sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, I keep forgetting somehow. I remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Oh, well, later. Wait, what? Hold on. You're just gonna start talking? We were only just... Uh, wait, we only just started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Wow! Did I just get fucking burnt? Just from looking at you, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with any, you know, with anything lower than trash, you know. Am I lower than trash? What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you focusing on fighting power? It doesn't matter if, uh, doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? Oh, that, yeah. Setting records and winning competition is easy money. Money? You just do it for money? Yeah, that's right. I've been doing it since this really uh, persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. You know, it's uh, what's it called again? That thing where you nonstop, uh, where you run nonstop through a bunch of cluttered areas. What? A marathon? Is Connie talking about that? Talking about running when you jump across? Oh, a hurdle. Street fighting. Parkour? Huh. I guess parkour. Is it parkour? Got it. Park hour? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it, too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you get people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from them. You should try chasing me sometimes. I seriously wouldn't get caught. What kind of situation do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of a city? She's pretty crazy, but I'm just a little jealous of how cheerful she is. Huh. So, what, you tell me she's like Aladdin or some shit? Stealing food and just running? One jump ahead of bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. I'd steal only what I can't afford. That's everything. Anyways, after continuing my most one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. Ah, uh, should be time. Well... We can hang out with Chiaki again. I really do want to hang out with Chiaki, I'm not going to lie. But let's go hang out with Sonya, because we never never hung out with her. I assume she would be in her room. Knock, knock. Oh, the door's just open. Huh. Oh, she's not in here. Well, that's... okay. Don't tell me she's in, like, Strawberry Place, because I really just don't want to go all the way over there. Map. She's on the third floor. Monokuma Archive. Actually, I would like to check this out. She said there's no reason to go in here, but... I don't know, it might be something important in here. So this is the Monokuma Archive Nagato was telling me about. Apparently there's no clues, it might be useful to escape this place, but in the future it might be necessary to know things about the enemy. Yeah, I, I kind of want to see. What's on the bookshelf? Monokuma's latest work, there's no way my little sister is incompetent. What the fuck? Someone's been watching Orimo. Anyways. This meme on, uh, what does this mean, Monomi? Don't tell me he writes articles when he's bored. Uh, let's see, what's on this bookshelf? Monokuma's Cute Meaty Diary Volume 1. What the fuck? Wait, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, let me just let me just read over that again because like I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, uh Greeting, I'm Monokuma in charge of Mon wait what? Greeting, I'm the Monokuma in charge of Monokuma. What the fuck? 
I'm the only one who looks good in flat and fresh salmon jack or salmon salmon blah 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 and fresh salmon jacket. Anyways, it's still pretty recent, but I made tremendous huge discovery, and I shall share it with you guys starting now. First, squat like you're sitting in an invisible chair and put your hands behind your hip hips, put your hand behind your thighs. The hold the position, you raise your thighs, and if you keep raising higher and higher, don't you think it's start uh, you're starting floating higher and higher to the air? You would, right? It's an amazing revolution of discovery that because of reform traffic laws and blah blah blah. Okay, that's stupid. Bookshelf has worldwide bestseller, The Ten Killing Commandments. What the fuck? Personal guide to success and happy. Okay, whatever. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to look at the surveillance camera. My bad. Okay, what's this one? This book here. Deep stories. The really, uh, that really happened and will probably make you cry all thousand volumes. Of that, what the fuck? Okay, famous Monokuma quote, volume one, whatever. And then this just le goes back to Despair Boys, Monokuma Successful Youth Edition. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, anyways, we're out of here. Yep, they were right. No reason to ever go in there. No reason to ever. Just do never, never, ever, ever. Hey, Sonya, what's up? Let's find a way to escape this place. What should I do? Should I invite Sonya to hang out? Sure. Hi, Jaban. Let's search for clues once again. I spent time today searching for clues with Sonya. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Uh, I don't know. Would you like some of this? You're all here. Take it. <laughs> oh, wow, you did. A tribute for me? It's rare for me to see such a common item, so I'm quite happy. Common? Fuck off. Um, I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. Tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resorting... What? Resort setting. My, like, I was mad confused. I guess this is like a pre... Like a pre-made thing, because... Because the way the game works and blah 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 blah, we're not on the island, we're inside this fucking room. Anyways, it might be true, but... Oh, did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking about... You strangely calm right now. Sonya, are you really not worried about our current situation? Of course I'm worried, and I'm also angry. Jeez, this is nothing to be joking about. Who's joking? However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's right attitude, but besides, I have come here to learn about your country. I would understand it if we're, uh... <clears throat> I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. I don't intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounds a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, she would, uh, would, uh, so this would be okay in your country? Wait, what? <laughs> Anyways, let us forget about killing and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonya, I feel, I feel really positive and optimistic. Uh, optimistic. Hmm, such honor. Raise your head. There's no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. And that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was... Uh... Shit. 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 <laughs> what was the name of your country? Damn it! Doesn't say anything here. I called the country name was, uh... Oh, shit. Novel Select Kingdom? Yes! It was a Novel Select Kingdom, right? <laughs> Did I even say that right? Is that the word to use? Uh... Novel Select... Yeah. Novel Select Kingdom. No, it sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not my con... It's not a country that I ever heard of. Yes, this is understandable. It's often overlooked by... Cat by... Mm. Photographers, whatever, I don't know, fucking people who make maps and shit. Our novice Lake kingdom is an extremely small country and it's governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving and we are not in dire states at all. For generations, the royal family had protected the kingdom and its people from this neighboring country. Thanks to, thanks to that, the people still have complete trust towards the royal family. And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see. It really doesn't sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of a kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. 
Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course, of course it's easy to get lost in our su uh, wet subterranean labyrinth and our bar uh, bah, 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 bah. barracks are fully equipped as well. So, castles really do have those. Huh? Anyways, is that all? If I ask you something as well... Wait, what? Is it all right if I ask you something as well? Yeah, I can answer it. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, this situation is truly similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it's strand uh, is a set fuck. I believe it is a standard tragic wait what? A standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Oh, hold on, what are you talking about? Do you really have no idea? Is it Japanese legendary drama? Well Is it Japanese? Is it Japan's legendary drama? It starts off really upbeat and then it gets really serious and and I never expected that to happen. I was all like, seriously, what's going to happen? I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Uh. Uh, Mo- What the fuck? Momoko's feelings are- What the hell? What are you talking about right now? I'm so confused. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, what was the name of this thing? The story of seven men and women. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but... Uh, whatever. Anyways. My goodness, so intense. I continue to listen to Sonya's extend extensively talk about Japanese dramas. As it sounds like she's talking about Terrace House, to be honest. That's what it sounds like. Anyways, at least now I totally understand why she's a major J drama fan. Cool. She likes J dramas. After politely excusing myself from long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. There should be time for me to move around more freely. Got more free time. Okay, well, guess I'll just go hang out with Chiki then. Gonna hang out with Chiaki. <laughs> games. Even crappy games. Aw. Okay. Are you in your room? Knock knock. No. Ah, uh, well, shit. Thought she was in her room. Where the fuck are you? Let's see. Kane's in her room. Ah. Hey girl, what's up? Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. What? Denied. Damn it. Guess, uh... Go hang out with Fuyuhiko then. I can't even tell what time it is because there's no fucking windows. Damn it, this sucks. What should I do? Should I invite you? He could hang out? Sure. You want to hang out with me? Man, you're pretty weird. I spent time today talking to Fuyuhiko about various things. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Sure. What would you like to give him? Give him Mukuro's knife so he can slide it in someone's back. Uh... I don't know. What do you like, dude? I don't fucking... Do I at least, uh, what would you like to give him? Oh wait, my bad. Uh, shit. I can't pull up the thing to see his likes and dislikes. Damn it. Queen straight jacket. What the fuck? Uh, shit. What would you like? A flash suppressor, maybe? Would you like that? <laughs> I have a flash suppressor. You like? Oh wait, no, I don't. I don't have a flash. I'm sorry. Shit. Damn it. Uh... Shit. What does- what do you like? <laughs> Seven swords. Just give him- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just be like, here you go, Fuyuhiko. It belonged to someone. Someone you may remember. 
All right. Um. Shit. Angel's fruit. Banish wraps. Replica sword. Uh. Dull kitchen knife. Tissues. Uh. Shit. Here? <laughs> what? Are you offering me dudes? Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? Are you offering me dudes? What the fuck? Yeah, you sure are Russian things. I don't even know what the fuck that what what that means. Anyways, I guess I guess it's because you're Yakuza. Maybe that's just the word they use for like tribute. Yeah, you're just an average Joe, so you better off just paying me protection money. Hey, Fihiko, how's that wound on your stomach doing? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought you said that. You must have uh, abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. I uh, just have Yakuza blood flowing through my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was still in the hospital. Like, maybe it's all a dream. A dream? Uh, how great would that be? Sorry, obviously, you'd be thinking about them more than I would. Wait, sorry, what? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm just really tired and my throat hurts because I'm talking too much. This game requires a lot of talking. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, that's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. And as long as I'm burdened with a Kazuyu, uh, Kazuyu name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. This guy has always known violence and death. I see. He's used to it. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. The world is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. My old man's like to say... Pr uh... Fuck. Predator... Uh, fuck. Pedder... Fuck. Why can't I read? I know what the word is. Predators. There you go. Predators are always strong. Are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come up with everything he's got. And what happened? Uh, and when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Huh. Being Yakuza means you can even kill the man you love to get your point cross. I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. That's pretty outrageous, home life. The world, <clears throat> the worlds we both live in cannot be more different. There were a few times when I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights, but whenever something like that happened, Pego was always there to be by my side. I'm sorry. I ma I made your I made you remember something painful. What? You need to apologize for that. You strange bastard. But still, I'm the rightful successor to the Kazuyo clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. Hey, by the uh, by the time I was in second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. I see, good for you. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyways, it's not much, but I'm starting to get to know Fuyuhiko a little bit better. After talking to Fuyuhiko about some other things, I parted ways with him and returned to my room. What time is it now? It's 10 o'clock. It's just like I thought I can... I can't get a sense of time. There's windows and blah blah blah. It's still a little early, but I should get back to my room. Cool. Time to get back to your room so murders can happen. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Uh -oh. oh, I heard what that. Are Jeez, are you whining already? If It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you. Wait, what? It's so jeez of you to do to do this. All I can say is jeez. What the fuck? Killing. You just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My, my. You don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News. Well, I have good news for you guys. You all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You all have to drive an old man. Wait, what? You all have to drive an old man in his fifties. In order for you guys to get energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at the Grape Tower tomorrow at 7 a.m. Seven. There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? That's your responsibility. So figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Bye. Sir, service with your heart. 
It's no use. My stomach feels so empty I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. I pulled out the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pain, and when and went to sleep, fell asleep silently. So Today I interview random strangers on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig, but he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, gave him everything. He always talked crap about others, and nobody really talks crap about him. The way he's willing to die to protect the women he loves. Wait, what? Oh, the way. That's why. What the fuck? Wait, that's he's. What? Oh, damn it! I'm so tired! That's why he can't live without me. Wait. He's usually cold towards me, but he's taking good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks. But afterwards, he cries and gently hugs me. What the fuck are you talking about? I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. His extreme responsive, uh, responsive. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drink, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. <laughs> These were all the results. <laughs> I'm so loved. I don't think I'll. What the fuck is going on? I don't even care anymore.